Hey, I want to thank everybody who showed up on a dreary Saturday morning in October to NJSBDC Procurement Con 23. Thank you for all of you who to all of you who attended full day event of workshops, classes, panels. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for coming. Um, we hope to put on other events to excite you and inspire you. Events like this couldn't happen without the people behind it, without the sponsors, the partners, the producers, the workers, everybody involved, the volunteers. Um, who are also living this mission of uh, supporting small businesses. I need to thank Sheila Harris Adams. She is the regional director of uh, NJSBDC at NJCU. We came to her back in like 2018, 2019, hot off of the heels of co-producing some events in the South. When I say South, I mean South of DC, um, just like this one. And uh, we said there's a void up here and we need to fill it. And uh, she agreed. This woman is on a mission to support and see small businesses grow. And she agrees there was a need for this. And then we got hit with the pandemic. Fast forward to 2022, and she says, come on, let, you know, guys, put this event on, let's get it going. Uh, and we went full tilt boogie, we started producing the event, we scaled up the brand. So thank you, Sheila, uh, for being part of this and being part of this mission and being having your own mission to uh, support small businesses, thank you. This stuff doesn't happen without people, without a team. So thank you to uh, NJSBDC at Rutgers HQ for your support and um, backing this uh, and having your other regional offices participate. Thank you guys so much. And then I need to thank the counselors, the NJSBDC counselors who showed up early, bright and early, like everybody else in the miserable rainy morning. And, you know, they put on energy and they put on classes and they paid it forward and they didn't care if there was four people or 40 people in a room, they rocked it. Sponsors. I want to say thank you to the African American Chamber of Commerce, New Jersey. They were a huge support in this. And uh, if you don't know who they are, uh, Dr. John E. Harmon founded the organization and they are a juggernaut of resources for small businesses. Also want to uh, say thank you to NJEDA, Christina Fuentes, um, and her team. They knocked it out of the park. We felt the roof shake in their room was packed, and they really brought it, um, you know, brought the resources to the table. Again, it's all about resources. A lot of people think NJEDA, they think, you know, government agency, and it's all bullshit. These, these folks, man, they are the reason we get tourism. They are the reason business, that, that people come to your shops in your cities, in your towns, all throughout New Jersey. They have resources, resources you probably don't even know about. So if you weren't at the event, or you were, and you didn't get these resources, Look into NJEDA and see what they have available. There's grants, there's funding opportunities. Uh, you can do business with them through government contracting. So thank you to the NJEDA. Thank you to NJCU for your support, Dr. Uh, Marvin Walker, who is the dean of the uh, business school. Thank you. And President Andre Acevo, thank you. Without you, we wouldn't have a, had, had a house to take down. And I have to tell you, you know, a Saturday is a tough day to put on an event because none of these people are paid OT. The government doesn't pay OT. So every agency that was there, federal, state, and local, it was their time, their dime. Lindsay Kilpatrick, the assistant uh, district director, regional director, uh, SBA Region 2, she was there. Amy Amoroso, director of VBOC. VBOC stands for Veteran Business Outreach Center, which is a huge, huge resource for veterans who uh, are looking to start small businesses or who already have small businesses, Dawn Chartier. And then Dawn, email me if I butchered your name. I'll make a public apology. Um, she is the district director for North AD Lakehurst, Navair, and uh, that's over at Joint Base Dicks McGuire. So amazing resource for people who want to start out to do business with the military. Stanley Bridgeforth, Marcus Abrams. Marcus is the president um, of the um, Hudson County Office of Business Opportunity. Let me say that again. Hudson County Office of Business Opportunity uh, for Hudson County small businesses. They brought the local to help, help us fulfill our mission of state, of federal, state, local. Um, and they put on a, a great resource class. So you guys are going to want to look them up. Thank you, gentlemen, for showing up. Emery Edwards of the Hudson County Chamber of Commerce, thank you for showing up. Um, he had a great presentation about grant resources. Um, and if you weren't there, you missed it. 
Listen, if you miss this, that's on you. Don't complain that you can't find anything. That was your choice. The people who were there, thank you for being there. Thank you. These events are useless if you don't follow up on all these resources we put in front of you. It's really important that you as an entrepreneur follow up on these resources. I also have to acknowledge two other organizations that sponsored us, uh, T-Tech, which is the Tamil Technical uh, Entrepreneurial Council. Folks, if I butchered that, email me. I'll publicly apologize. They not only partnered with us, they went out there and sold tickets. They were on the phone. These people literally classic phone dialing go to this event, go to this event, go to this event. So thank you so much for that hard work. That's not easy. Thank you. I do have to acknowledge Aaron Tillock and OM Group. You guys came in last minute, clutch, Hail Mary play, threw down a sponsorship. Thank you so much for that. We appreciate it. Who else am I missing up here? Oh, you know what? Hoboken Business Alliance. Folks, I mean, they didn't sponsor us, but let me tell you something. That's an organization that turned around and deployed to their audience without us asking. Thank you so much for that. We appreciate it. Who else we got? So our banks, our financial institutions that not only sponsored, but showed up at the event and put on their performances. Thank you to all of you. Arvetta Lynch, uh, Senior VP, uh, Regional Manager at uh, PNC. PNC, if you're listening, that woman is a machine and an advocate for your bank. She rocks it. And I am excited to work with her in the future again. Dominic Bellafori, hey, m and same thing. Dominic's a juggernaut for your bank um, and for the people. So um, back this man up. Give him everything he needs. Thank you, Dominic. And then last but not least, Nate McCann. Hey, Chase, if you're listening, uh, you need to know that Nate, this isn't even his region, and he came here on mission to support this event and to support the small business community. Nate is also a machine. These three are the juggernauts of the financial world, as far as I'm concerned, um, and they are. I'm, I'm excited to have the Procurement Com brand work with them again and again and again. So thank you for your sponsorship, thank you for your support, and thank you for showing up. If I missed you, email me. Sorry, I can't thank everyone by name. Email me. I'll apologize later. So now, you know, this is the last but not least thing um, that I really have talked about, BizTalk. So real quick, BizTalk was born out of the fact that we needed something that wasn't TED, okay, that fits specifically for businesses. That was just by entrepreneurs, for entrepreneurs, it, that it absolutely inspired, enlightened, and empowered. So we had our BizTalk session, which was opened by Dr. Harmon. Dr. Harmon didn't warm up the crowd. He set it on fire. Right. Dr. Harmon brought his wisdom, his experience, his knowledge to the table, and he held us accountable. I also have to say thank you to Amber Hamlet of Hamlet Consulting. She's one of the youngest entrepreneurs I ever met who is successful based on what she went through. Her story energized every young entrepreneur and starter in that room and re-energized every old dog and pro. So Amber, thank you. I'm excited to work with you again in the future uh, and I'll see you soon. Let me say thank you to the woman who put roots in grassroots. Cynthia Lady Rose Roberson sees, saw and sees a problem in our education system. And she took it upon herself, by the way, she's also a veteran. She took it upon herself to fix the problem. She's on a mission with her read a book, R I T T A B O O K, read a book. And, you know, she said it best in her statement. She said, when these kids get done with school, they go out into the battlefield. It is true. It's not a war. It's not, it, and it's no slight to veterans. It's a different kind of battlefield because people are unprepared today to uh, face what's going on out there. I also have to say thank you to Deatra Ashley. She is the uh, uh, assistant to the dean at NJ, uh, the dean of uh, small business school at NJCU. You know, it's not easy getting up in front of people. That's hard enough. But coming in with like oh, less than a week or a week to prepare, that's insane. And she came up and she showed us that anything is possible. So thank you so much, Deatra. If I said your name wrong, again, email me. I will make a public apology. One person which I all want you to always try to go meet is because um, he's he is amazing. Um, he's classic, a classic businessman, and he is the American dream is Leo Cervantes. Leo was working until like three in the morning the night before and was there with bells on at 7 a.m. 
taught a class, and then spoke at BizTalk. So he was there for the run. That man was on a 12-hour cycle. Leo is the American dream, came to this country at 19 years old with nothing, and now owns three restaurant tequila bars um, and is a Highlands councilman, Highlands, New Jersey councilman. Check out Leo Cervantes. Thank you. It's Chilengos in the Highlands. Uh, and go visit the restaurant. Go have some tequila. It's got more te tequilas on the bar than any other place in the world. Finally, I want to thank Tanya Torres, Glam Truck Warriors, founder of Glam Truck Warriors. She's got a really amazing story. And, you know, she is 10 tons of TNT in a one pound package. And uh, I can tell you right now, you know, she really made this one statement and she really made us all think when she said she could stand up there and tell us about the shoulds, but instead decided to tell us about the oh shits. Because we have oh shit moments, every one of us. And her story tells us that those oh shit moments are just moments that um, we can overcome. So um, again, I thank you and I look forward to having you on again in the future. Um, maybe what we'll do is we'll tattoo my eyebrows on in a public demonstration. Um, so again, thank you to everyone who, who uh, was at the event. Thank you for all being part of the production, the sponsorship, the partnership. It is greatly appreciated. There is no event without you guys. Um, and uh, you're supporting a small business. We're a small business too. So you're fulfilling a mission by supporting us. And then our mission to, to, to put all this stuff under one roof and make an electrifying, exciting, empowering uh, event. Um, you know, the road to success can start anywhere, but it's got to start. So for all you people that attended, remember, this event is worthless unless you follow up. And that is huge. Follow it all up. We will get you the list of the resources, but go to your SBDCs, go to your um, NJEDAs, your SBAs, your VBOX. Reach out to these resources. Go to your Hudson County Office uh, of Business Opportunity, your Chamber of Commerce's, wherever you were in, in whatever state you're from, wherever you traveled from, go find those resources. They are out there. They are accessible. Most of them are no cost. Get the support you need. Um, Talk to your banks, talk to your financial institutions. And remember, you don't have to be a shark in this game. You don't have to be a shark, but you have to keep moving because the minute you stop moving, you get eaten by sharks. So go out there and conquer the world. Thank you.